Hey, what's up guys? It's Dexmer talking to you here. And today I want to talk about WWDC's secret products. Yes, I do think that we are going to see the M2 lineup reveal on WWDC together with the Mac Pro. I'm very excited if that happens. Mark Gurman talked about uh, in this in his latest report and I do believe him, but let's be sure. I don't know. But if that happens, we might be seeing the M2 MacBook Air and the M2 Mac Mini. And that's a pretty good deal just because those will be an amazing value, just like the M1 MacBook Air is and the M1 Mac Mini is. So if you are excited for that, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe my channel. I will report any new and further information on this matter. So if you are excited, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. That helps the channel a lot and I appreciate all of your support. So no further ado, roll the intro. So, as you know, Mark Herman, in his latest report, talked about the fact that we are close to the launch of the M2 MacBook Air and the M2 Mac Mini, and that's pretty exciting, because if we are getting an update to the M2 variant of chips, we are getting an upgrade to the budget lineup, and as you know, in my opinion, the budget lineup for 80% of people is more, way more than enough, than enough, and so that's why I do think that if you are looking for a Mac right now and you don't really need that much performance, then the M1 MacBook Air is the option for you. Though, as I was talking, Mark Herman is saying that it's going to come the M2 MacBook Air in WWDC, which will happen on June 6th. So be careful with that. Do not buy a MacBook Air right now. If you are wanting to buy one, wait a few months and see what happens. Of course, we could not see it on WWDC, and if you don't see it on WWDC, then feel free to buy the M1 MacBook Air. I do think that the M1 chip is way more than enough for the next several years for almost all people. So I wasn't be going. Oh, if I were you, I won't be as much as pre preoccupied with that lack of performance on the future. So yes, if you are looking for a base model Mac that can do simple stuff like browsing the web, email, edit some light photos, edit some light video. Right now with the M1 you can edit pretty much heavy video, like 4K60 video. So feel free to buy the M1 if you really need one right now. But if you want a new redesign, then wait for the M2 MacBook Air. We are supposed to get one. This redesign for the M2 MacBook Air will be coming with a lot thinner design with probably MagSafe 2 or the new MagSafe support. It will come with a mini LED display, white bezels, a notch, and it will be thinner no more rounded back and top. So yes, complete redesign coming to the M2 MacBook Air. So if you are waiting for uh, M2 MacBook Air, be excited as I am because a redesign is coming. And as you know, when Apple unveils redesigns is always a good thing. Because if you don't really care about that and you are thinking, no, no, I want uh, the cheaper option ever. I want the M1 Mac Mini. Then fine, go for the M1 Mac Mini. But be aware that another redesign is coming to the Mac Mini lineup with the M2 chip. Yes, we are probably getting a more reorganized and a Mac Studio-like Mac Mini on the future, coming with the M2 chip option and probably the M2 Pro option. Like, I do think Apple in the future will implement the M2 Pro, the Pro lineup of chips on the Mac Mini, the base model Pro or even the Pro chip, and put it on a desktop, because right now the M1 Pro is only available on the laptops on the MacBook Pros, and it makes a lot of sense to see that on the M2 Mac Mini. Of course, this Mac Mini, like I was telling you, will have a Mac Studio-like design, and that's pretty exciting, because we will finally have more ports on the front, and on the back we should probably add another Thunderbolt 4 port, don't you think? So. Yes, that's very exciting that this M2 lineup will be refreshed. The other computer that I'm not sure if Apple will refresh is the M2 MacBook Pro. Yes, the base model MacBook Pro, I don't think Apple will kill it. Mark Herman is talking about the fact that there's one coming, and so I do believe Apple will launch another one. I just don't see the point from Apple to launch this computer. It doesn't make that much sense to me. Like, this is a very boring computer. The design is boring, it's old. Like. It's a Pro, but it's not Pro. The M2 MacBook Air will be amazing, will have mini LED. And if they put a mini LED screen on this computer, then it's just in a weird spot. I know it's a spot to fill the price gap between the M2 MacBook Air and the M1 Pro MacBook Pro, 14 inch, but in my opinion, it doesn't make that much sense. If you wanna fill that gap, build a 15 inch MacBook Air with the M2 chip, like I've talked about in previous videos, that would be an insane value, an insane computer, 
But like I, I told you in that video too, I do think Apple is afraid to cannibalize the 16 inch computer because there's a lot of people spending way too much money on the M1 Max 16 inch, on the M1 Pro 16 inch, just because they want a bigger screen. And Apple makes tons of money on those people. So I don't, don't see Apple cannibalizing that lineup. But if they do, that would be crazy, just like they are doing this year with the iPhone 14 Max. So yes, I do not see why Apple would release an M2 MacBook Pro, the, the, the base model one to replace the M1 MacBook Pro, but Mark Cuban is telling us that it's coming. So probably it is. Finally, in WWDC and to close this lineup, yes, we're going to see the Mac Pro. Mac Pro, it's the, the final computer, the ultimate computer. I do think that we are going to see a new unveiling of a chip lineup like the X1 or another chip that is not refreshed every single year or even a companions like the M2 or the M1. It doesn't any have any references to those two like the M1 Ultra or the M1 Pro and M1 Max. So that would be pretty interesting to see the Mac Pro coming out. A new redesign, new re design for pros, less thermally constrained, with a more efficient chip, with options to at least upgrade the RAM and the, the GPU cores, or even uh, add more X ones, like maybe a building block like Lego. So that would be pretty cool, and I'm very excited for that Mac Pro. Of course, if you are looking for the Mac Pro, then I steer you over for the M1 Ultra Mac Studio, just because it has everything you want to, and you probably don't need the upgradability, but if you really want to spend the big bucks, you already know it. And so the Mac Pro is probably for you. You have already been waiting since 2019 Mac Pro, which has been unveiled in WDC, but in my opinion, was the biggest trap ever on Apple. And yes, that was pretty cool to see people saying, finally, we got modularity on Apple computers, finally. And then Apple just kills it one year later or two years later. That would be so funny to watch people spending $50,000 on that computer and Apple just saying, told you, you shouldn't have bought those and completely trolls them. That would be cool. And of course, I do think that this Mac Pro will be insanely fast, insanely powerful. And although this fast, this powerful, it will be smaller and more quiet than the current 2019 Mac Pro. So I'm very excited for, to see what the Mac Pro brings. I will not buy it. I will not review it. It's not for me, not even my price range, but that would be pretty cool because the Mac Pro is such an insane computer and that would be so cool to see Apple release a chip where they don't have to worry about power consumption and other stuff that are very, very, very important when working with laptops just because of battery life and the thermal constraints that happen when you are using Fuck off, mate. Stop smoking, motherfuckers. 2,000 years later. Like what happens when you are using a laptop because it's a smaller design and so that it's more thermally constrained. Of course, Apple just made their chips way more efficient. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Of course, Apple just made their chips way more if, uh, effective when using power and so they were way more efficient and the performance is so crazy that it's very, very cool. I'm very, very excited to see this M2 lineup being unveiled on WWDC if that happens. If it doesn't, expect it to come on the October timeline just like the M1 did. So I'm very, very excited for WWDC. Two months for, or even less than two months for it to happen and I'm very, very excited. I will do a reaction video and I'm very, very excited. So if you are excited too, do not forget to leave a like down below. Leave your, your options and your opinions on this M2 lineup. Leave your wishes for iOS 16. Leave everything you want to in the comment section below because it helps with the algorithm. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. Like, it has been crazy to see you guys supporting my channel, sending me comments, messages, sending me love and support. I really, really appreciate your support. I'm very happy with this. I'm continuing to grow, continue to post videos, work hard, and that's how it do. So if you wanna continue to help me, subscribe my channel and keep watching my videos until the end, just like you do. This is Texmore talking to you here. Bye.